Hey what's going on guys, today I'll show you how you can make a transparent header with Elementor for free. So after watching this tutorial, you can turn your this type of boring header to this. And when you scroll down to your page, the header becomes sticky at the top with this nice animation. And then if we see it from tablet or mobile devices, it also works really well. So normally you can create this type of sticky transparent header in Elementor Pro. But I'll show you how you can do that on the free version of Elementor with a little hacks. So before starting hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to get website creation related content like this. Here before starting make sure you have already installed this Elements Kit Lite plugin on your website. And obviously you also need to install this Elementor plugin. So after installing these two plugins, let's go to Elements Kit and under here go to header footer. From here we can create our custom header where we can customize our header with the Elementor editor. So to create a new header, click on this add new button. And first let's give a name of our header. And here turn on this option and click on save changes. After saving let's again click on here. And to edit our header, click on edit content. Here on this header I want a two column layout. So let's click on here and choose this layout. And here on the left side I want to add my logo. So click on this plus icon and drag this image widget. To select our logo click on here. I want to choose this white logo. But here we can't see this logo. So we need to make the sections background to black. So let's click on here and go to this style settings and make its background to black. Okay, after that let's again go to this logo and align this to left. And I also want to link my logo to my home page. So let's go to this link option and from here choose custom URL. And here I put my home pages link. So after that, I also want to make this logo smaller. For this, let's go to style and from here choose the pixel and I want to make it to 150 pixel. Okay, looks good. Okay, our logo is done. Then I want to add a menu on the right side. So here I click on this widget icon and search for the menu widget. And from here, let's choose this one with this eKit icon, which is provided by the Elements Kit plugin. So I drag this to here. And from this drop down, select your menu. Here we also can't see this menu. So let's first make its white color. Go to this menu item style and make its color to fully white. And also for the hover color. I want to clear this and also for active and then let's reduce the height of this menu. So let's go to menu wrapper and I want to make this to 45. Here if you want to change its font you can also do this from this typography option here. But I love this themes default pop-ins font. Ok right now for this menu I want this last item to be a button. So to do this, first of all I want to delete this item from our WordPress menu and then I will add a button after this. So let's first go to our menu, press Ctrl E and here I search for menu. Let's open it on a new tab and from here choose your menu. Here I want to delete this one. So let's remove this and click on save menu. Ok then if we go to our page and here first let's save this and we refresh this page. We can see here our menu has been updated. So after that let's add a button widget here. But here I want to place this button after this menu right here. So to do this let's click on this edit icon here. For this menu let's go to advanced and from 
positioning make its width to in line okay and also for this button i want to do the same and then let's customize this button so let's click on here and i want to change its text and also the link and to change its padding let's go to style and give it a padding of 15 pixel but on the left and right let's make it to 30 now after this button i want to add some social icons so again here search for the social icons and i choose this one and let's drag this right here and first let's make its width to inline so let's go to advance okay but here we failed to place this on the right because there is not enough space for this column so let's increase the width for this column i want to make it to 70 percent and here i want to align all of this content to the right so let's make the horizontal align for this column to the end and then let's design these icons so click on here and here i don't want youtube so go to this content tab and remove the youtube from here and instead of twitter i want to insert my instagram account and for facebook i want to change this icon i search for facebook okay let's go to all icons i select this one to change this background color go to style and make it to custom and make the primary color to fully transparent then you can adjust your font size from here i want to make it to 23 and also make the padding 2.3 and then i want to adjust the gap between this button and these icons so let's go to these buttons settings and go to advance and make some right margin and here i also want some gap on the left okay then lastly i want to add some padding for this section so let's click on here and go to its advance and give it a padding of 10 pixel and on the top and bottom let's make it to 18 and here if you notice you can see these items are not properly vertically aligned so let's click on this layout here and make the vertical align to middle okay then let's save this and if we go to our home page we can see our beautiful header is successfully done but right now i want to make this header to transparent so to make it transparent let's go to here and first of all i want to add a temporary section under this so let's add this here and make its height to fit to screen and i also want to give a background color for this let's make it fully red and for our top section i want to remove this background color so let's go to style and remove this black color and now i want to add some negative margin for this section so let's go to advance and here let's give a negative margin from the bottom until this red section touches at the top so it's 101 pixel now i want to delete this red section and click on update okay right now we can see our transparent header but we can't see it properly we are missing our buttons these logos so to make it visible let's go to our pages and increase the z index of this section let's make it to one okay right now our header is become fully transparent but now if we scroll down we can see our header does not become sticky at the top so to make it sticky we need to do a couple of things so first of all let's go to our pages and here we need to do some custom codes for our sticky header to write our custom code let's add an html widget and drag this anywhere inside this header but I want to add this under this logo 
okay after that you need to go to the makedreamwebsite.com and go to this link and here i give the code snippet for your sticky header don't worry i also give this link on my description you can get this code from here so to copy this code let's click on here and go to our pages and paste this code so right now if we save and refresh this page right now if we scroll down we can see our header become sticky at the top but here we can't see our logo properly because our logo color is also white so if you want to add an another logo for your sticky header you can also do that for this let's go here and this is our logo i want to duplicate this one and for this second image i want to add a dark logo okay then for our first logo let's go to advanced and give it a class logo dash one and for our second logo give it the class logo two now if we scroll down we can see our different logo for our sticky header okay now i want to show you how we can also change the background and the text color for our sticky header so if we go to here and if we look at this code from this line here we can change the background color for our sticky header we can make it to red color or we can pick any color so to copy our color if we go to advanced and go to background from here i want to choose this blue color and if we want to make this color transparent then if we copy this and go to our code and if we paste this right here right now we can see our background color for this sticky header has been changed and here if we also want to change the text color we can also do that so to change the text color we can do this from here if we make it to red you can see this red color but it looks super weird so let's change to the default color i want to undo this okay that looks good okay right now let's check our header for our tablet and mobile devices so if we right click here and go to inspect and from here select the device to ipad pro okay here on the tablet our header will look like this so this is our navigation menu if you click on this here this menu comes from the left okay but here on the tab we don't want this contact button instead we want to include that inside here normally so to do this we need to create an another menu for our mobile and tablet devices so let's first go to our menus and from here we will create a new menu so let's click on here and let's give our menu name and click on create menu this time here you also include our contact page so let's reorder the menu items and click on save menu and then go to edit our page and here after this menu i want to add another menu so let's duplicate this one so right now i want to show this menu only on desktop and show this menu only on phone and the tablet devices so to make this let's click on here and under advanced go to responsive and hide this on tablet and also on mobile and for the second one i want to hide this only on the desktop and i also don't want this button so also hide this on tablet and mobile devices and right now for the second menu go to our content and from here we need to select our newly created mobile menu but we can't see it here because we need to refresh our page so let's first update this and right now if we click on this second menu and go to this drop down from here we need to select the mobile menu 
Okay, right now if we click on this menu, we can see our mobile menu has also included the contact item. But if we see it from desktop, this menu is not included with our contact page. Right now let's customize this hamburger icon and also this menu panel. So let's go to our page and from here I want to go to the tablet mode. Okay, first of all let's change this icon. So let's go to this mobile menu settings and choose the hamburger icon from here. I search for the menu icon. I choose this one. Let's increase the size of this icon. So go to style and go to hamburger style and make the icon size to 25 and here I want to remove this border. So let's go to border type to solid and make the border width to 0 and let's add some margin on the right side. So go to advanced and from here add 10 pixel margin and here I go to style and make the hamburger color to white okay and I also want this over color so let's clear this okay we have designed our hamburger icon so after that I want to design this menu panel here first of all I want to change this logo so let's go to content and go to this mobile menu settings option and from here I want to upload my logo and I want to adjust its width so go to mobile menu logo option make it to 130 pixel and I also want to adjust the margin for this logo so let's click on here Here on the right side, I don't want this border for this icon, so click on here and under close toggle, go to this border type, make it solid and also make it to zero. And to edit this menu items, let's go to this menu item style and from here, let's increase the font to 15 pixel. And here on the left, I want some gap, so let's increase the padding to 25 pixel let's save this okay we can see our menu looks good on the tablet devices and lastly i want to show the preview for mobile devices so let's choose the iphone x device from here and here it also breaks down so to fix this let's again go to here and from here let's choose the mobile device and if we look at here we can see our columns are automatically being 100 percent so let's make this to 50 percent and also for this column make it to 50 and then save this okay right now we can see our header is also looks great for our mobile devices So that's how you can create this type of transparent sticky header on your website. If this video helps you, then like this video to inspire me to make more helpful content like this. So thank you for today, I'll see you on my next.